It's going to be some finish to Season 4 here with Shrewsbury Town on FM16. Guys, thanks for joining me for today's episode. And just look at these, the, our final four games of the season. At first we've got Liverpool, then Arsenal, then we finish up against Norwich and then Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. But first we've got Liverpool, the team we will be playing in the FA Cup final, the last game of the season for us. At the moment we are currently fourth. We're in a Champions League spot. Liverpool down in eighth. So they're going to be battling it out for at least, trying to get into a Europa League spot, maybe sixth or seventh there. Chelsea... It, as I've said before, this has to be the tightest season ever. My God, look at today's fixtures. Oh, there's so many massive games going on at the moment. We've got Man City in the early kickoff at home to Arsenal, fifth versus second. So many implications there. And then a bit later, you've got Wolves hosting Manchester United. Let's see how they get on. That's not a bad result, you know. Man City beating Arsenal 1-0. I think... I was either happy with City winning or a draw overall, as that's now uh, that's allowed us to close the gap, obviously, on Arsenal. But you can see that Manchester United drew 2-2 against Wolves, who United, they're top at the moment, level on points with Tottenham. It's so close at the moment, we just have to make sure that we can beat Liverpool at the Greenhouse Meadow in the late kickoff. It will be a tight game, but I think Liverpool will lose this one. I hope so. Shrewsbury are on a high and home advantage should be enough to get them the victory. They are without Adam Lallana today. We are considered favourites. I'm really hoping it does work in our favour. The team is fit. The team are raring to go. Let's get those three points. All right, here are the team sheets then. Danny Ings, former Liverpool man, starts at front for us. Nani and Lana Cole out wide. Central midfield. Well, the team is pretty much the same over the last couple of fixtures. There's been no injuries. I don't want to speak too loudly. Um, you've got to keep that consistency there. Ruiz starts. Oxford, Grandison and Kane at the back. And Perrin in goal. There is a bench. You can see Luis Alberto, another former Liverpool man, starts on the bench today for Liverpool. They've got Perez at front, Coutinho out wide with Di Maria on the right, Firmino in central attacking mid-roll. And that's pr I think we could get the win here today. I'm feeling pretty confident just looking at their team. Perrin takes that short to find Ruiz. Right on the touchline there. Kante to Grandison. This is good build at play now. Oh, that's a good ball from... Lionel oh, no, Cole, Danny Ings against his far side, he's made it 1-0. 16 minutes gone, that's his 16th goal of the season and that will push us up to fourth in the league. Let's have a look at that, what a pass though from Lionel Cole. Eye of a needle stuff that. Works it round Danny Ings, just tucks it into that bottom left hand corner. Beautiful, good start. Let's take that highlight off Cole. Klein whips it in. Oh, Cole was lucky to clear the ball, but it was a horrible first touch. Joe Allen now to Henderson, Coutinho, Berto Firmino. Look at this for passing from Liverpool. Nathaniel Klein finds Di Maria at the far post, and he will not miss from there. It is 1-1 here then at the Green Ice as we are fastly approaching half-time. That was um, really good play from Liverpool, to be fair. We, uh, we didn't do enough to win the ball back off Klein there. There's two men surrounding him as well. We kick off a second half. A lot can happen in 45 minutes and that is a foul from Fabian Delph. What is the referee going to do here? Please just be a warning. It should be because he hasn't really made any fouls in this game so far. Yeah, it's just a warning. I can't help but think about our next game against Arsenal at the Emirates. It's going to be so difficult. Nani here now with the... Go on, Kante. Smash it, son. No, he's closed down to two quickly there. And he's lost the ball. Well done. And it's Firmino on the break for Liverpool now. It's a horrible touch, that. It's Oxford. Great anticipation. Back to Perrin. But, yeah, that game against Arsenal is going to be so tough because there's so many implications. If Arsenal can win, then they're in a good spot to go on to win the Premier League. If we can win, then obviously that puts us in a good spot. And here we go with Lionel Cole. Just couldn't get past Sacco there. And it's rather erratic at the moment. Here is Danny Ings. He should have scored. It was a good save, but we got a corner. Can we create something from this? Reece Oxford in the middle. And it's a foul from him. A draw with three games to go against Liverpool. Could have been better seeing that we were at home as well. I was hoping for a win, but Liverpool stood firm. 
They did well to get back into the game. We did control that second half, but we didn't do enough really to get the win. We are up to fourth though. We're level on points with Man City. Just look how close this season is. Unbelievable. It's going to go right down to the wire, isn't it? Right down to the very last day of the season. Unbeatable shrews. We set new record. Wow. 18 games unbeaten. Let's just apply that. 18 games unbeaten. Look at that. How has this happened? To be fair, though, you look at some of the teams that we've played, like Sheffield Wednesday, Reading, relegation candidates, Stoke, Leicester, Reading. We haven't really had that many tough games, to be fair. We had Man United. We did well against them at Old Trafford. But now it's getting tough. Is this the title deciding weekends? I'm not sure, really. We've got Arsenal at the Emirates. We get the early kickoff. Chelsea have got Swansea. Manchester United are at home to Southampton. Tottenham kick off against Stoke later. There is Arsenal's lineup. Look at this. Higuain starts up front for Arsenal. Meza Ozil in that number 10 role. Oxley chamberlain is out wide along with Walcott. Cook and Ramsey in central midfield. Look at that for a back four as well. Bellerin, De Chilio. And not much of a bench going on there for Arsenal. For Shrewsbury Town, exactly the same team that I chose against Liverpool. we just get things rolling here. Notice that Arsenal are without Alexis Sanchez, which is uh, it's good news for us. I think we can, uh, we can do something without him being in the side. Might have more of a chance, as he does add a lot to a match, Alexis Sanchez. Here we go then, we get kick-off. Nani, well... Oh. De Chilio. De Chilio pushing the ball forwards here. Kante, you need to be making the challenge here. What is he doing? Why is he so standoffish? Morgan Schneiderlin out wide to Theo Walcott. Walcott now finds Bellerin who cuts inside. Ramsey on a yellow card. So keep our shape. It's not good. We've broken apart. Mesut Ozil was able to get a shot away. It is a corner. 65 minutes on the clock. Walcott whips it in. Ozil's going to pass that back out to Walcott, isn't he? No. To Ramsey. That is a back out to Walcott. And that's poor in the end from him. Check with the goal kick. Martinez. To Morgan Schneidlin. It's good movement of the ball from uh, Arsenal. They are working around our shape. I'm trying to get my team well drilled. And that's not good from... Oh no! Chamberlain! That wasn't good from Ruiz. Let's have a quick look at the league table. Arsenal, top as it stands. Arsenal have a corner here. It is Bellerin. No. No, no, no. That's probably the game right there for Arsenal. 83 minutes gone and it's Hector Bellerin with the goal. This is not good news for Shrewsbury Town if we want to be playing in the Champions League next season. What a header that is though from Bellerin. I'm tempted to give the players an absolute bollocking for that game, but I've got to, I've got to keep them calm. I've got to keep them raring to go for the next game against uh, Norwich at home. The final home game of the season. Very disappointing as we do drop to fifth, but we're still, we're still in the race. We've still got two games to go. Anything is possible in the Premier League. It's still all very tight. It would have been a huge boost to momentum to have won, but it wasn't to be, and we have to bounce back well in order to finish as strong as we possibly can. How is low? The Arsenal manager responded, we were the better team. Yeah, right. I don't know what he's moaning about. The team were lucky to even be in the game at that point. We were the better team. Mm, don't think so. How shall we respond? Response to his suggestion. He's a very... Uh, I'm not surprised he's kicked off in such a manager. It's most befitting of him and his team. Yeah. There is another twist in the tail as Tottenham have lost. They've dropped all three points to Stoke. Manchester United went on to beat Southampton 2-1 at Old Trafford, but Tottenham have lost. That is the main thing, and that has opened up a spot for us in the top four. I'll just quickly get rid of this and go across to the league table as it stands now after this weekend's fixtures and results. So we have dropped to sixth. We are out of the top five. But nothing to worry about at the moment. We've got Crystal Palace breathing right down our neck at the moment. Chelsea there on 66 points. But a win against Norwich could put us into Tottenham's position, into third. I mean, look at their recent form. They've really dropped off. Do you remember about halfway through the season, Tottenham were really storming the league. They had such an advantage over teams like United, Arsenal, City and us and Chelsea. But now they've really dropped off. 
God, what a season. As I keep saying, this has to be the best season I've ever had on any FM. It's been incredible. Anyway, up next, we've got Norwich, the final home game of the season. Then we finish against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Guys, you do not want to miss the next episode. There's going to be fireworks aplenty. There's going to be twists and turns. I cannot wait. Join me for the next episode. But for this one, thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon.